Welcome to your virtual ceremony celebration. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. We are delighted that we've been able to hold this presentation for you. Before we begin, we have some housekeeping information. We will start today's ceremony with an introduction from Vice-Chancellor Professor Tim Blackman. We will then continue with the presentation of graduates and to conclude, there will be a personal address from the Vice-Chancellor. Depending on the device you're watching the broadcast on today, you'll be able to change your screen view. We would suggest putting your screen in presenter view to view all videos and live content in full screen. You can select gallery view if you want to see everyone in your breakout room, but it will make the videos appear smaller as one grid screen. Please enable your microphone and keep it unmuted at your end so that you can join in the round of applause during and after each group's names are announced. The technical team will ensure your audio will not be broadcast outside of these moments. We would like to remind everyone that today's event is being recorded and it is currently being live streamed on YouTube. The recording will also be available after the event. Thank you for taking part. We hope you enjoy it. also to these problems are our plans for a university of the air. It's designed to provide an opportunity for those who for one reason or another have not been able to take advantages of higher education. Let's say you're one of those people. One of those who think where you start in life shouldn't limit where you go. One of those who think a university shouldn't just be, well, a university. Let's say you're one of us, and together we are the open university. Open to all of us, all of the time. Not some of us, some of the time. We are a movement of millions, a mission of one. We are disruptors, occasional troublemakers, game changers. We are the fuel for imagination, chasing comets, making the impossible, possible. We are restless in our drive to see progress that touches us all, inspiring students to become ministers and midwives, barristers and teachers, tech entrepreneurs, business gurus and more. Our cause goes beyond being an innovative way of learning and our future lies in continuing to build that cause. We are the people who open up the future of learning. This is how we shape the future. Let's say you are one of those people who believe what we believe, one of those excited by possibility. Let's say you are one of us. We can't wait to open up millions of futures. And with your help, we can. Hi, my name is Sarah Jones and I'm the Students Association President and I'd like to say how proud we are of your achievements. Like you, I have studied and completed my studies with the OU. Whilst the achievement is down to my hard work, like you, I couldn't have accomplished what I've done without the support of my friends, my family, my fellow students, my tutors and the staff at the OU. To be an OU student means balancing work, 
home, family life and studying and caring responsibilities to reach your goals is a superhuman feat. Underneath your graduation gowns and smart clothes, you all wear superhero outfits. I know many of you will have done what I did and stayed up late or got up in the wee small hours to get the final TMA submitted or tried hard to find a space and time to do remote exams. Managing the difficulties of studying alongside the extra pressures that work and life bring means your achievements must be celebrated in style. Oh, you students are remarkable. Your accomplishments overwhelm me with pride. Hearing your stories of the things that you've done come through and the things and life that has happened around you for you to be able to claim your degree. Having babies, losing loved ones, changing work and supporting families and getting that support back on the road to your degree are amazing. Today, we celebrate your success and the immense proud that you should feel in yourselves. Graduates, we salute you and we raise a glass to you. Congratulations and welcome to the family. Hi, I'm Martha and I'm your Chancellor. And I just wanted to say well done and congratulations on reaching the amazing milestone that is an Open University degree. There have been many things about this horrible pandemic that we've all been wrestling with, but I can honestly say that not being able to do degree ceremonies and meet all the amazing students at our university has been one of the big losses for me personally. I really hope that we'll be able to see each other face to face again soon. But in the meantime, I just wanted to say that you have done an incredible thing. People talk about part time learners for the Open University, but I think we all know you are actually double time learners, often holding down jobs, often looking after family members, caring for children, dealing with tough circumstances in your own lives. So congratulations. Hallelujah. You made it. You are going to go on and do incredible and remarkable things with what you've learnt. This is just the first stage of your journey and you should be immensely proud to be ever forever part of a network of people who have completed open university degrees. Have a great celebration. Good luck. Stay safe. Stay sane. Hello and welcome to today's virtual degree ceremony. By the authority given in the statutes of the Open University, I declare this virtual ceremony open for the presentation of graduates. I'm delighted to welcome you to today's event along with those watching who are supporters and friends of the university. The Open University awards a range of qualifications that you've all worked so hard for, from certificates of higher education to doctorates. Each year, we present graduates for their qualifications at our physical degree ceremonies held in towns and cities throughout England in Belfast, Glasgow, Dublin, and Cardiff. And we are now excited to be able to add today's virtual experience to this as we celebrate your success. You're graduating from the largest university in Europe with an extraordinary scale, scope, and reach. That success is down to what our graduates achieve and not just the qualification you're presented for today, but the difference that you'll make with it. So it goes without saying that this is a very important occasion in the life of you, your families and loved ones, as well as the university and my colleagues who, I hope you will feel, nurtured and supported you. Please do celebrate your achievement and post messages or photos on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, use the hashtag OU family to share your congratulations and celebrations with many, many others. We will now see the presentation of graduates able to join us today, which will be followed by my personal address to the graduates. Good afternoon and welcome to today's virtual ceremony presentation. My name is Toby Scott Hughes and I'm the Assistant Director Operations in Assessment, Credit and Qualifications and it's my absolute pleasure to present you, our graduates, for your qualifications today. As well as welcoming our amazing graduates, I'd like to welcome their family and friends and also the many OU staff, all of whom are watching today's live stream. I'm delighted you are joining us to celebrate the success and achievements of our students. In a moment, I'll read out the names of each group of students. Graduates, you will appear on screen in a group and your audio will be turned on. If I can ask you please to make sure your microphone is turned on so we can all hear your reactions and applause at the end of your group and then again at the end of the ceremony. 
hopefully everyone watching will join in as well. Executive Dean, I shall now present graduates who have gained higher degrees and have been able to join us here today. For the degree of Master of Arts in Creative Writing, Lucy Dolan. For the degree of Master of Arts in Creative Writing, Sally Russell. For the degree of Master of Arts in Creative Writing, Jill Dowding Walker. For the degree of Master of Arts in Creative Writing, Jane Keenan. For the degree of Master of Arts in Online and Distance Education, Machito Ota. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Aoife Reynolds. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Dave Wilson. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Technology Management, Bradley Bowers. Thank you. For the degree of Master of Education, Charlotte Dukes. For the degree of Master of Engineering, Archie Curtis. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Science in Development Management, Geoffrey Ocullo. For the degree of Master of Science in Development Management, Abalo Proskovia. For the degree of Master of Science in Mental Health Science, Natalie Patrick. For the degree of Master of Science Open, Kevin Fitzpatrick. For the degree of Master of Science in Science, Chloe Hartnell. And for the degree of Master of Science in Systems Thinking in Practice, Catherine Healy. Congratulations to all of you. Yay. <laughs> Executive Dean, I shall now present graduates who have gained Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Laws and have been able to join us here today. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Studies, Greg Page. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies, Primary, Benita de Sousa. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in English Language and Literature, Nandrani Khatun. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Language Studies with French and Spanish, Paula Richardson. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Open, Marionel Kriek. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Lyra Gibson. And for the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Hannah Proctor. Well done to all of you. Executive Dean, I shall now present graduates who have gained Bachelor of Science degrees and diplomas of higher education and have been able to join us today. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computing and IT, 
Matthew Barker. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computing and IT, Laura Craig. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computing and IT, Gudrun Gemrika. Yeah. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computing and IT Software, Andreas Vurgias. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computing and IT Practice, Justin Rusttel. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Health and Social Care, Valerie Williams. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Natural Sciences, Alison Lee. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology and Law, Froeni Germazion. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Open, Khadija Saida. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Open, Kaj Lindgren. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Open, Sonia Harvey. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Open, Claire Connor. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Open, Andrew Hamilton. For a Diploma of Higher Education in Mathematical Sciences, Nadine Green. For a Diploma of Higher Education Open, Ian Herrick. Well done to all of you. Congratulations. Yay. Graduates, there will now follow a personal message from the Executive Dean, Faculty of Wellbeing, Education and Language Studies, Professor Fari Kashlin. Please do keep your microphone on as we come back to you then for a huge round of applause following this address, which will conclude today's ceremony. Firstly, and most importantly, again, many, many congratulations. Thank you for joining us on this very special day to recognize what you've achieved. Each of you is truly extraordinary. I believe that today you are the most amazing body of graduates anywhere in the world. You've believed in yourselves and we've believed in you, all of us, your dated associate lecturers and advisors, the expert academics who write your courses, the designers and technologists who bring them to life on the screen, and all the professional services that make the OU what it is second to none. And now you've shown what that belief in you can achieve. Almost every one of you studied alongside other demanding responsibilities and commitments at work, with children, or as a carer. And I know that sometimes it's been tough. That would be the case in normal times, let alone going through the pandemic. No wonder employers tell us that what they like about OU graduates is that you are self-starters and determined. You've juggled study and deadlines with many other demands. But you know, I've heard that there's one thing, and just one, that's harder than being an OU student, and that's living with one. So I thank your families as well, your friends and loved ones too, for supporting you to succeed. When the university started back in 1969, our pioneer students and staff really were taking a step into the unknown, putting their faith in a university that was using new methods of teaching and would be open to everyone. We wanted our students to choose us, not us to choose them. 
So the only question we ask you for most of our courses is, do you want to learn? You have all said yes, and that gave us our mission. Many thought that the OU would fail, but it's now one of the most successful universities in the world with over 2 million students who have studied with us. That's not just a university, that's a social movement. It's you, our students, who make the OU, but we also owe a huge debt of gratitude to the vision of the university's founders. Foremost among them was Jenny Lee, to whom Prime Minister Harold Wilson gave the job of setting up the university. She was a woman whose own journey from a Scottish mining community to Minister of State shaped in no small measure what the OU is today. Jenny Lee believed that the OU had to be a university for everyone, and it would do that while maintaining the highest academic and professional standards. No one would be able to criticize the OU for, quote, dumbing down. You, our graduates, have achieved those high standards of scholarship and professional practice that Jenny Lee was determined we'd maintain while opening up that opportunity to more people than ever before. And she was determined, too, that we would also be a respected research university, currently ranked among the top third of research universities in the UK, making discoveries, inventing new products and methods, enabling us to understand each other better and live together peacefully and without endangering the planet. Curiosity and experimentation are what drive us, and I'm glad that you chose to join the most human of adventures to learn and live. Some of you joined us because you were curious. Many were looking to advance or change your career. You'll find OU graduates in every employment sector, often at the highest level, and you'll find thousands of businesses started by OU graduates as well. We've recently measured the economic impact of the OU. We spend around 500 million pounds a year, but that produces an even bigger impact of almost 3 billion pounds a year economically. That's more than six pounds for every one pound that we spend. Most of that return is the higher lifetime earnings that OU graduates achieve, but there's also a social return. Graduates are on average healthier and happier than non-graduates, more likely to participate in their communities or in politics, and much less likely to be taken in by misinformation. And the OU has a social mission to bring learning to people, whoever and wherever they are. That's why we partner with the BBC to produce programs like Hospital or Blue Planet 2. It's why we make available hundreds of free short courses on OpenLearn and FutureLearn, taken by millions of people and for many, a true lifeline during this pandemic. Across England, Scotland, Wales, and Ireland, we work with employers, community organizations, and trade unions to reach people where they are so that they can take their first steps into higher education. We work with carers organizations, the armed forces, prisons, job centers, colleges, and schools, constantly innovating in how we provide higher education. If you're an Uber driver, for example, Uber will pay for you and your family both to study with the OU for free. And if you watched Spring Watch on the BBC last year, the garden survey of insect pollinators that Chris Packham invited viewers to take part in was run by the OU's award-winning citizen science web platform called Inquire. Completion of your qualification today means you join a community of Open University alumni around the world. You can continue to keep up with news, access career advice, or come back to study. The motto on the university's crest, learn and live, is a call to action. To learn and by learning to really live. I ask you today to please do good with what you've learned and encourage others to learn and live as well. As you sign off today, you will hopefully become an ambassador for the Open University and all that is remarkable about our institution and what it stands for, its values of social and environmental justice, its belief in inclusion and diversity, and above all, its vision to be open to people, places, methods, and ideas. Do share your experience with others. Let them know what your journey has meant to you and what it could mean for them. We're hugely proud of you. And we thank you for choosing the Open University. Well done. Again, you are all truly amazing. Congratulations on all you have achieved.
That concludes today's celebrations. Thank you for taking part. We hope you enjoyed it. Do please stay in touch with us via our alumni, careers and students association teams. On behalf of the Ceremonies Centre and everyone at the Open University, we wish you every success for the future. <laughs>